Welcome to Markdale, Ontario, home to Chapman's Ice Cream, Canada's largest independent ice cream manufacturer. In 2009, this entire operation burnt to the ground, but they rose from the ashes like a phoenix, like a delicious creamy butterscotch phoenix. This week, I visit with one of those rare family businesses actually run by a family. And this is Ashley Chapman, and he is Vice President of Chapman's Ice Cream. Hello, Ashley, how are you? Wonderful. Nice to see you, sir. Thank you for having me. Thank you for coming. Let's talk about the family business for a minute. Sure. Um, how did it start? Uh, started with my mom and dad in 1973, and they uh, moved up from Toronto and bought an old beat-down creamery and cleaned it up and started making ice cream. And now it's a family business, like you're the vice president? Yep. And they are there, like, got the president and CEO or something like that? Exactly. How big is ice cream in Canada? Huge. Canadians love ice cream. Do they? And yeah. we're, yeah. we're talking about the whole thing, right? The ice cream treats and the bars and the lollies and all that business. Everything you can think of. So how much money do we spend on ice cream every year? Not enough. No. <laughs> So this is just a uh, plain mix that we're starting to blend. Now we're going to add the uh, the cocoa to make it into a chocolate mix. And this will be chocolate ice cream. And delicious. Delicious chocolate ice cream. Is this the way you do it? Uh, not really, but you know, it'll work. Well, you could do it like that. I'm helping mommy in the kitchen. Is this the one you said was so popular? Yeah, yeah. Can I try one? Yeah. Oh, they're not frozen yet. Oh, that's why it's going in there. Oh, look. Well, okay. Now, where does the dairy come from? Is it like powdered dairy from India? Nope, it's all Canadian. Ontario mostly? Mostly Ontario. Because I noticed it doesn't say made in Canada on your box. No. Why is that? Uh, we don't make cocoa, vanilla, all of these kind of things in Canada, so because- So you're making the ice cream here, you got the factory here, you got the 700 employees, the cows are from Ontario. It's all from Ontario, but the cocoa, doesn't come from here, no. so you can't call it made in Canada. Exactly. Do you think that's stupid that you can't put made in Canada on your box? Absolutely. There, question asked and answered. <laughs> okay, what do we have here? Uh, these are essentially mini creamsicles. It's like a dream that Homer Simpson's having. It's like, oh, <laughs> creamsicles. <laughs> Wow, this is hard. Okay, four. One, two, three. Was that it? Oh no, that's backing up. Oh, that. <laughs> I broke that one. Okay, John, I think you should take over there, buddy. Okay. You're loading wafers into yeah. the machine and you're also checking the quality. Yes, sir. And this is the wafer. Yes, sir. That one's good. Great. So I have to taste these as well. Yeah. Gotta be done. <laughs> Not gonna be good. Ice cream's gonna come out through this pipe. No. Yeah, you're gonna put the tub here. Just like that. Right 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 Hello, Patrick Swayze. <laughs> Is there such a thing as too far, really? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Sorry. Keep going, sorry, keep going. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I had an accident. Oh, oh down the boot. Right down the boot. That's cold on the leg. I would like to see Ashley swap it. Let the vice president do it. Ay, 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 Rick. Oh, Ashley. <laughs> oh, Ashley. And this is Penny Chapman, president of Chapman's Ice Cream. Hello, Penny, how are you? Wonderful. So you built up this family business, and then you had this fire, and you just woke up, and the entire factory was essentially gone. Yes, never saw it coming. Certainly could understand bad things happen. You lose a little piece of something, mm -hmm. but the whole thing to go, it was a shock. And how many employees were there at that time? Oh, probably 350, 400. But you guys decided right off the bat that no one was going to miss a paycheck. Yep, in a blink, in the blink of an eye. You had to do, there was only one thing to do the right thing. And we did it from the beginning. If I invent an ice cream today mm -hmm. that is a delicious ice cream, that's so delicious you think this should go into the stores, you, you could put it in the stores. I and I would have my head on it. 
Oh. Wow, that's a selling point. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we could get that into the stores, I think, if we propose it that it's for a charity, and one of your charities, with your head on the box, it goes to your charity. Spread the nut. <laughs> and this is Keith Oswald. He is Research and Development Manager. Hello, Keith. How are you? Hi, Rick. Nice Thank to see you. you, sir. So you, you invent ice cream flavors. Yes, most exciting job in the world. Now, I have to pitch an ice cream okay. to Penny, and she may put my head on an ice cream box for charity. OK. So do you have any tips? Um, if Penny doesn't absolutely love it, won't leave the place. It won't happen. No, it won't happen. Royal Canadian Mounted Jelly Bits Ice Cream. <laughs> Double Banana Blueberry Choco Rant. <laughs> Cookies and Cabinet Bits. Mercer Mocha. PMO Under the Bus Crunch. With bits of staffers in the bottom. Rana Ambrosia Sorbet. NDP Liberal Banana Split. Stephen Harper Vanilla with tears. <laughs> Speaker of the Hot Fudge Sunday. Rick, what do you like for dessert? Blueberry pie. Best day ever, Rick Mercer Report, blueberry pie ice cream. Delicious. All proceeds to spread the net. Selfie. Oh, <laughs> hope you like chocolate. Victory! <laughs> and now for dessert.